Welcome back. Uh, we are now moving on to part two, the computer science innovators quiz. Part one, you built the user interface. Part two, we're going to program. Uh, we're going to program some of these these interactions that can happen. So I'm going to go to the blocks menu, or rather the blocks page. Um, I've already uh, added some of the questions and text boxes. I'm going to show you the little trick that I did. to make it faster for everybody. The first thing we need to do is build a uh, a variable, which is going to be our list. So our list is ultimately going to be called the question list. And we're going to create a list uh, to go with that variable. So I'll make a list. And because we want three things in it, we got to click the rotary. We're going to add an extra item to the list. So there we go. Got an extra socket slot. So we have which computer science pioneer broke the German codes, which movie showcases the first African American. Show you a little hack about how I did this really fast. I just opened the, the handout and I just went to where the questions were. They copied it and I pasted it right in to save time. Boom, got my list uh, created. Next thing I need to do, or we need to think about, is when our when our app opens, which question do we want to be to, to show first? So I'm going to click on screen one, and when screen one initializes. Gonna, we want to set the question label text. Oh, that's not the right one. We want to set the question label text. We're going to set that to uh, our list. So we have to select an item from our list. And the list that we want to be selecting from is the question label list. But we have this thing called index, and what index is, is it's like the table of contents, and it allows you to pick which item in your list that you uh, that you want to show. So we have to actually create a new variable. So we'll call it initialize global. And this will be our index variable. And index variable in this case, we want it to start the first item in the list. So now we can add this through our. Uh, to to our to how we're gonna what's gonna show up when we initialize uh, the screen. So it will the question label text will go to whichever question in the question list that the index is set to, and in this case it begins at one. The very last thing we need to do here is our next button. When the next button is clicked, we need to set the index. We want it to go to the next number in the index, and when we're iterating or adding to uh, our our, our variables, we need to go in here into the math, we need to get the current value of our index, in this case it's 1, and we need to add 1 to it. And then the next thing is, of course, we need to set the question label. We can just click on here, I think, and duplicate it. Yep, and then we can set our question label.txt to whatever item is showing in the question list, in this case, we will now have gone from one to two. Okay, so that's how you set up uh, some basic coding. You should probably test it out and make sure it works for you. Every time you press the next button, you should get a different question to come up. That's the end of part two.